Hey, good morning, folks. Welcome to the April 6th edition of Pastor's Tips for Trying Times. Today, I want to talk to you about something you really already know about and that probably you, I know I do, a lot of people do, have um, a, a time with, and that is patience. So today, I want to talk to you about being patient. Um, it's almost a joke when people talk about praying for patience. You know, it seems like there are some prayer requests we pray for it. God just doesn't seem to answer them or he seems to be very patient in giving us what we want or what we're praying for. But when you pray for patience, it seems like every Sunday driver on earth is in front of you everywhere you go. And so it's kind of, it can be kind of funny, but it, it really does indicate just how impatient that we can really be. So does the Bible have much to say about patience? Well, actually... It does. In Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22, you have a fruit of the Spirit. It's part of the fruit of the Spirit. So it's a general idea here, but the general idea is what we typically work with every day. Galatians 5 22 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. And the idea of patience there is forbearance, long suffering, slowness in avenging. Uh, others or on others and so how does that then apply to us in this situation now well just a couple of things real quick number one trying times call for patience because of the situation that we're in generally it, it's unusual to us we're, we're um, put into a confine maybe our schedules have been adjusted our routines are adjusted things like that and then typically what goes along with that modification is the people that we're with. So now we're spending maybe more time with people that we love and like, but in closer quarters with our routine being changed, their routine is being changed, their habits are being modified to a great degree. So we're spending more time even with people that we love in challenging situations. So it's kind of like, you know, my wife doesn't like for me to be in the kitchen with her when she's doing work because in our apartment our kitchen is just so small so I'm in the way well imagine being like that all the time as human beings we are creatures of habit so most of us uh, like to have things a certain way all the time we, we, we get in our groove as it were and when we're in that groove we don't like to be um, broken out of it we don't like to have it messed up so a couple of things here how do we respond to that number one Walk in the Spirit. Galatians 5.16 says, uh, Walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill or gratify the desires or the lusts of the flesh, uh, which patience helps us out with. Okay, So be patient by depending on the Holy Spirit. Slow down, listen to Him, be sensitive to Him. And then secondly, have deference to other people. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 10.24, let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. So Jesus talked about when you go to an event like a wedding, take the lower seat and then be brought back up as opposed to taking um, a higher seat and being brought back down, and that's humiliating. So what we want to do is defer to other people. When you're in that small kitchen, let her have her way, and if she says get out, get out without grumbling over it because... We all know that to respond impatiently or adversely creates more problems than if we had just, you know, capitulated and moved on. So I think as a result, you'll find that as you respond patiently, other people will reciprocate. At least they'll be challenged to. You'll reduce the amount of tension in the situations that you're in. Even small quarters will be um, tolerated more effectively. So I just want to encourage you today to be patient throughout this situation. In James chapter 1, verse 4, James says, And let steadfastness, and that word can be translated, especially in the King James, as patience, have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. So be patient with other people, and more than likely they'll be patient with you. What if they're not patient with you? you be patient with them anyway, okay? So let me just encourage you today to be patient with others, encourage them to be patient with you, and Lord willing, before too long, this too shall pass. All right, God bless, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.